So here is a simplified step-by-step -step guide to animating objects within Unreal Engine 5. We'll be focusing on how to use Sequencer, uh, an Unreal Engine built-in tool for animation. So import or select your object. In my case, I have used these jets, uh, some missiles, rockets. In the first scene, I have used some tanks. So it's not that complicated. So to prepare this scene, you are going to do mainly two things. First of all, you are going to make a level. In my case, I have choose the Middle Eastern theme, Arab theme, and I have imported some 3d models like tanks and jets so yeah place it in the level drag and drop the object from content browser into your level so now the second part is to animate these object for that you are going to click here and add level sequence and when you create and save the sequence it will show something like this without all of these object of course we are going to drag and drop one by one to our sequencer and uh, after that we are going to animate it so there is an another way to add objects you can click add and uh, here you will add actors like static meshes cameras and uh, physical and skeletal meshes so this action adds your object to the timeline making it ready for keyframe based animation and if you are an after effects user you are familiar with the keyframes here here is how we can see it in the unreal engine so it's really easy you are going to click on plus just like after effects and after that you change the value and again plus so you can refine the animation with by adding more keyframes like continue moving the timeline slider adjusting the object's transformation properties to add more keyframes each keyframe will represent different points of animation you can even smooth it out more by using the graph or curve editor uh, in after effects you call this graph editor but here it's curve editor so basically this graph editor you can use this graph editor to create smoother transition between keyframes for more polish animation so as you can see here is our main camera cuts and uh, here is our cameras so there is different between these two categories here are our cameras you add them from right here cinematic and sign camera actor so it will show something like this so you can see through cameras by clicking on here camera after that if you want to combine these cameras in a one shot you can add these camera cuts by going here and click on camera cut track by default whenever you are going to place the camera it will show but if not you can add it from here and after you ready your objects and uh, you want to see the animation you will just click on spacebar or you can click here and if you want to see the all camera shots you are going to see through camera cuts when i'm going to play this so yeah it will switch automatically our cameras so now after you finalize your video and there is nothing to modify you are going to click here on movie render queue and if you do not have this movie render queue instead of you have this movie capture scene legacy this one and uh, you want movie render queue you are going to click on edit plugins and search here movie render queue enable this and uh, it will require a restart and after that you will have this and yeah you are going to change the output setting where you want to save this or uh, output resolution and after that you can add some more anti-aliasing and uh, high resolution and uh, let me add it for you and color output make sure it's and in the last you are going to which uh, image sequence do you want so you can export it right from here in mp4 i have a separate video which i'm going to a link in the description so how you can export this in mp4 directly without using bmp xrpng or jpeg sequence 
So in my case, I'm going to use this PNG sequence. And yeah, after accept, you will click on render and it will start rendering and saving your image sequence one by one. So with this method, you can animate everything from simple doors opening to complex moving objects like this I have added or even entire scene in Unreal Engine 4. So take care.